Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today I have one of the most rarest S tier arcane buildable weapons that you can have in the game itself. This weapon is so underrated, so overpowered at the same time. And a lot of you guys have probably missed this one. And today I'm going to be showing you guys where exactly you need to go and get this weapon. And along the way, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make this weapon so powerful that even the foes are going to be scared of you when they see you. If you like how that sounds, a thanks is much appreciated by clicking on that thank you button that is right below this video. Now, let's get started, guys. Now, this one is going to be none other than the Ripple Crescent Halberg. As you see there, my attribute scaling is of S tier, which means is the best of the best. It can get better than that. Physical damage is 210 plus. And then on top of this, you guys are seeing the attributes require strength dexterity and arcane arcane being the main one which is what we want about this weapon now one of the best things about arcane weapons is that you are able to scale up on how they you are able to deal damage if you want blood damage fire damage holy damage and anything like that you are able to increase and this is what makes this weapon it's such an amazing weapon. So let me show you really quick, guys, what I'm talking about. As you see here, let me go in here. As you see here, this weapon itself right now is going to deal 577 for just the attack power. And the beautiful thing about that is that it's already on S tier. So it's going to deal a lot of damage. Now, how can we make this even better? Now, so one of the ways that you are able to buff this weapon is the following, which makes this weapon such an amazing weapon. If you are creating a holy or a bleed wep uh, weapon uh, build, or you want a um, deal damage with fire or anything like that. So let me show you. One of the things is that I have here is a an incantation, which is the electrify armament. So. Anything that is in my right hand at this moment, I am going to be able to buff it if I'm going to show you guys really quick. So before I had 577 and on my stats, I didn't have at this moment uh, lightning. Now, since I was able to buff this, now I'm able to hit not only with physical damage, but on top of this lightning damage, which is 218 then on top of this guys on top of this let me show you now my deal damage went up to 796 i just went up 200 points so anyone that i'm about to hit with this is really really gonna feel the power of the arcane lightning combination which is going to be deadly now another great thing so let's get rid of this really quick there you go and then Another thing, if you want to do the following also, if you have the Blood Flame Blade, you can also do that as well. You're able to infuse it and then check out, like once again, I'm able to do fire at 116 and my weapon is the 694 damage overall. And then now let's just say, let's, and let's, let's just say you want a blood on it, so. You know, since I'm wearing the white mask and let's just take all the attributes of what I'm actually wearing and let's just, let's just say, let's just say like, for example, okay, I already have this talisman, so, okay, you see this one, right? Lord Blood's Exultation. This one is going to increase my attack power with the bloodlust in vicinity. Now, on top of this, I also have this one that boosts the attack power of my skills and then you have this one. Now, let's just say I am about to buff this with the following thing. And this is what makes an arcane weapon such an OP type of weapon. 
because I am able to come here in my inventory and use any of those consumables that you see here. So like I said, told you guys, I want blood, you know, because blood, that's what all is about because you want to deal damage. And then I use this, look at this, okay? Now that I have infused my weapon with blood, I am going to show you now that in my stats, this is going to be at, let me see. This is going to be at 597, but now, guys, where are those foes? Where are those foes? Let me go find them. But now I am going to deal blood damage because I have infused it with blood. And this is what uh, makes arcane weapon such an OP weapon. And now this one being an S tier is just, you just you guys just saw there how overpowered this weapon is. And this is what makes this weapon amazing. So once again, guys, this is the Ripple Crescent Halberd. Now, where can you go get this weapon? Now, remember, an arcane weapon, it will only go up to certain amount of... Now, remember that when you are scaling an arcane weapon, you don't have to fully scale it like I have it here, 25. And I believe that if you go up to 19 or 20, it already becomes an S tier weapon. And on top of this guys, not only arcanes do help you to increase your discovery. And on top of that, your holy defense. On top of this, your vitality, which is what you need to be able to take and resist attacks from the foes. And on top of this, like I already explained to you guys, and I showed it here to you guys in the video, you are able to infuse it and scale it up with bloodlust, poison, sleep build, or any type of build. So if you are lacking on certain like uh, vigor, mind, endurance, strength, dexterity, intelligence, faith, or arcane, any of those that you are lacking, now you have different options that you can use to be able to use weapon and infuse it to any of those type of um, traits that you have in your bill. So there you go, guys. That's how powerful this weapon it is. And you also are able to get this very, very early in the game, uh, which makes it a really good weapon if you are trying to go through the whole story and take down all those foes. Now, let me show you guys where exactly you need to go and where you need to farm for this weapon. Okay, to get to the location of this weapon, we are going to head where I have my uh, point over here. And we're going to go from the boil prank shack. And then from there, we're going to um, go and get on our horse over there. Now, before you go on, I'm going to give you a couple of tips. One of them is you're going to need the silver scarab because that's going to uh, improve your discovery by about 70 points or so. And then you're also going to need the silver tier mask. Now in your inventory, if you have the silver foul foot, go ahead and do that. You're also going to increase your chances by another 30%. Uh, so we're talking about an increment of about 55% overall to increase so you are able to get this weapon because you will need to farm it. So you, first thing you're going to do is get on your horse and we are going to follow where we need to go. So from here, we are going to farm uh, two uh, foes that are sitting there by the rock. So if you see this weapon that I'm using, um, you're going to see why this is so amazing. Now, if you guys want to know more about it, take a look at this video that's showing up here. You'll see why. Okay, so now we are here, and these are the ones that we're going to farm. So this is why I love this weapon, because I can kill both of them at the same time. There you go. Come closer. There you go. So let's see. Did any of them drop it? Let's see. All right. No. So you got to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until you guys get it. 